the yesterday business, y'all, uh, collapsed because of medical issues, and they had to take me in hospital by EMS out to, out of City Hall. All right, Council, my name's Pat Johnson, y'all know me. I operate an organization called Texas Towing Compliance. I take calls from victims of illegal towing from all over the state, 24-7. Today we're going to talk about predatory towing. It's hurting other bribery, extortion, and corruption within the police department that's supposed to be regular regulating it. Predatory towing hurts our city image. People get our city image. People get burned when they come to our city for events, sporting events, or whatever, and they get forced to have to pay $200, take a cab for $80, and then go and suffer a lot of abuse. Predatory towing or private property lots are literally baited traps, a cash cow for the towing companies all at all hours. The lack of enforcement by APD's record enforcement unit has led to more than a decade of major consumer abuses by some unscrupulous towing companies. Due to, the la- due to the lack of an ordinance, we don't have an ordinance on the books that regulates booting. We've got a company coming out of Round Rock booting cars in our city with people in the car and charge them $150. Why is the record enforcement unit repeatedly allowed certain towing companies to engage in organized criminal activity against our citizens with zero interference? The same criminal behavior that other law enforcement days arrest all parties involved. Councilmember Martinez knows about predatory towing when he was towed off by a pizza place on West Avenue, which he never got back his money. The lack of enforcement by APD's record enforcement unit. That's great. Pardon me. I'm, all right. This is a city. This is one of your contractors on a city contract towing for parking underneath the 35 bridges. This company here says on their advertisement that they provide free legal re- representation. That's providing something of value, and the towing company and the parking facility can't accept anything of value. Okay, right there. Police Department, those two detectives, and I'll hand, give you all a handout, a three page handout of an article I wrote back in October. Nothing has changed since that letter. Those detectives say they can't prove it, but we've got victims I sent in these apartment complex and talk to these managers who would take recordings and ask the simple question. Did you notify the towing company in writing that you put up those signs? And when they say no, that is a statutory violation which carries a criminal penalty. And then on the second offense is a class B misdemeanor. But it's the same offense as the first time DWI, so why aren't the police upholding the law and protecting our citizens? All right, here's another scam that's been going on for five years. The Arctic Texas has said there's Mr. no violation. Mr. Johnson, your time is up. Will you please complete your thought? Please complete your thought, but your time has expired. All right, this is another violation right here. The detectives in the record enforcement unit state over at 32nd Red River, they've towed thousands of cars off that parking lot, and the one on the left is a legal sign, and the other one that's still posted today that Detective Ballard said it wasn't a violation. There's two statutory violations on that sign. And every car that's been towed at parking lot has been illegally towed, and the police won't do anything about it. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. That's the end of uh, your time. Mr. Johnson, I know if you got one more slide, I, I don't want to take too much of any time, but if you could spend just another minute and explain very, very briefly what you think we ought to do about this. I can't hear a word you I wonder, sir, if you could explain extre- very briefly in, in the minute or less what it is you think we ought to do about this. Your last slide, how to address problems. All right, this page right here talks about how we can address this problem. We need to replace the detectives and the sergeant over the record enforcement unit and the vehicle abatement unit. And send those officers and those detectives to San Antonio's vehicle crimes unit to be trained so they know what to do. Because there's too much influence peddling within the police department and the towing companies, all linked to towing contours south side. I get calls from people all the time from out of state to get in a wreck on 35, never been to Austin before, and the police officer recommends south side. Because people, it's both, it's just BS. Why should we have to keep making the news millionaires? 
update the current records. David Douglas told me, well, the police department hadn't said they needed to do anything. Well, we can't expect the police department to do anything to protect the citizens on this issue because of the ties of Southside Wrecker, former and current police officers that are members of that family. So y'all have to step forward and update that ordinance. All right, another issue that we have, according to the Record Enforcement Unit, they answer, can't do answer something. Answer the question, Mr. Johnson. Council Member Stummer, is he, go ahead. Go ahead. Although he is answering the another question, issue. please keep it very brief, sir. Sir? Although you are answering the question, Mr. Johnson, please keep your answer very brief if you could. All right, I'm part of here, sir. The current record ordinance is outdated. It was written in 2006. It doesn't even conform to the changes in the towing statute that passed in 2012. We need to require that the Bill of Rights are given in English and Spanish. Because if you don't know your rights, you ain't got no rights. It's impossible for someone from Chinese to read English. Another thing that people are getting burned on, you should require, you have the authority to not allow a vehicle storage facility on a private property impound that's towed out of our jurisdiction to charge the $50 notification fee until after the vehicle's been in the storage facility for 36 hours. That's common sense. Because at one minute after, after 24 hours, you get hit with a $50 notification fee, and then the tow, tow bill goes up from one ninety three thirty dollars to close to $300. A lot of people are losing their vehicles. So I would ask you to follow suit. You can Google online predatory towing and see how Provo Utah handled this issue. And if we do the same thing, just like San Antonio, they would have to revise the ordinance because it puts the enforcement tool in the ordinance. Of course, the detectives want to fall back. Well, the ordinance only says this, this, this. The state law says the second offense is a Class B misdemeanor. And when you ever tow 200 cars off a property over a course of six, two years, and the police don't do anything, that's aiding and abetting a criminal enterprise, which are violations of the Hobbs Act. And the FBI has a mechanism to root out corruption. So, so I'm just saying, our citizens are getting burned left and right. Now, South by Southwest is fixed to occur. There's probably going to be several hundred cars towed because the sign has to be facing you when you pull into a parking lot. If it's turned around this way and they don't see the sign, they get towed. It leaves a bad taste in people's mind, and they won't come back to our city. That's not what we want. Those college students are targeted around UT. A lady called me the other day. She stopped to drop off some brownies to her sick son, was gone less than five minutes at four o'clock in the morning, and J&J staggered apart. So, y'all gotta do something. This council, you know, we're gonna have a new council soon. Let's make an effort. Mary, you're just, you're just like, you know, when Gary Black was still alive, we were fighting this issue with these towing companies coming into town and stealing people's accounts. We have one tow company that's located outside the city that admits on YouTube to bribing police officers with cash. So how the hell is the public supposed to... Uh... Thank you, Mr. Johnson. I appreciate your help.